Now let me introduce you to Stig Barekstan from Us Craft Distillery. Wow. Uh, what have you have? Uh, what have you set up today? Uh, today I have some gin, uh, mainly botanical spirit, uh, and uh, I'm gonna make a kind of dry martini. We're gonna have some uh, local seafood, and uh, we will try to enjoy that. Beside that, I'm gonna do a cocktail with uh, aquavit, our local spirit. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do that together with apple juice. Uh, that's it's a warm cocktail. So perfect for when you're outdoor. And uh, this gin, uh, Barkstan gin, uh, has won quite a number of awards. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, this gin is, uh, I, I think we now have around 30 different gold medals from international competitions. Double gold in San Francisco in 2017. And this year was uh, best in class as well. So it's uh, the world best gin. London Dry Gin. All produced in Bergen? All produced in Bergen, just uh, on the other side of the fjord. And uh, Akkevit, what is Akkevit? Akkevit is, is, from my point of view, Akkevit and gin is more or less same, same, but different. It's uh, produced in the same way as gin, but it has caraway as the main uh, botanical. And in gin is, of course, juniper. And this is a very uh, Norwegian spirit. Scandinavian, I would say. But in Norway, aquavit is, is, is a little bit different from the rest of uh, Scandinavia. We have to mature it uh, in uh, casks for at least six months. So that gives it a little bit different style from some of the other aquavits, so it's uh, more pleasant. Uh, and uh, of course, we use it quite a lot to, 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 to towards the Christmas and traditional food, but, uh, but it's also perfect ingredients in cocktails. Now I'm gonna... I'm not gonna, actually I'm not gonna do a dry martini, I will do ice cold gin. I don't need a vermouth, uh, personally I like a dry martini naked, so the vermouth is more c c for the conceptual side of it. So it's more about getting the, the gin uh, chilled. Just fill the stirring glass here with a lot of ice, a quite generous measure of uh, gin, a little bit more. Then it's just to get this uh, stirred and chilled. Then it's just a zest of lemon, squeeze it over a glass in here, and then we have a dry martini. But the most important thing I think people want to know is how can you experience Bauxen gin? It's just to go to the distillery or actually you can experience probably most of the world uh, today in a bar. But uh, if you're here in Bergen, it's just to contact Oscraft Distillery and we do tours at the distillery with food pairings, whatever you want, actually. Mm -hmm. And are there any opportunities for uh, tasting? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we do a tasting on all our products when we do these tours. So the only problem is here, you have to buy the product in a monopoly afterwards because we can't sell it at the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it tastes a little bit different when you eat it right on the coastline, doesn't it? Yeah, but absolutely, and, uh, and together with oyster, you have the best experience you can have, at, I think. <laughs> but uh, but uh, but the gin is also it's, it's it's a gin that contains quite a lot of local botanicals. I would not say only; it's 26 different botanicals, where 19 of them are locally sourced in the region around Bergen. So uh, so it has this uh, local terroir as well that uh, is kind of unique, and also the technique we use potato spirit. It has some similarities with the ingredients we use in the aquavit as well. So. So it's a traditional but a little bit different uh, gin. Mm, so it's really uh, like tasting Bergen in a way. I would say it's capturing uh, Norway in a way. Oh.